Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to find an area with high land surface temperature using Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. Now let me explain about what is a land surface temperature. So land surface temperature is a radiative skin temperature of the land derived from solar radiation. LST measures the emission of thermal radiance from the land surface where the incoming solar radiation interacts with and the heats the ground or the surface of the canopy in the vegetated area. So basically the incoming solar radiation interacts with our earth surface and heats the ground surface that is our earth surface. So this is our land surface temperature. So here this particular value here indicates a very high temperature and this particular set of value indicates a very low temperature. So this is a land surface temperature during February 2000. Now let us check out in, in during our in November 2022. So in November 2022, so this is the land surface temperature. So these are the areas with a very high thermal radiance is observed on the ground surface. And these are the areas with a very, uh, very low, very low land surface temperature. So now let me uh, show you this, the changes in the land surface temperature from 2000 to 2022. So scientists monitor, monitor the land surface temperature because the warmth rising of the Earth's landscape influence our world's weather and climate pattern. The scientist wants to monitor the increasing temperature of greenhouse gases affects the land surface temperature and how the rising the land surface temperature affects the glacier and ice sheets and permafrost and the vegetation in the Earth's ecosystem. So now let me uh, show the details of the Landsat 8 image. So Landsat 8 image has around 11 bands so in that we are particularly using landsat uh, band 10 that is thermal infrared band with a spatial resolution of 100 meters so in this video we're going to use this specific band to find the land surface temperature areas with a very high land surface temperature so our objective of this video is to uh, find an area with a very high that is a high land surface temperature so to find our land surface temperature first we have to load our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine. So to load our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine, define a variable called image equals to e dot image and Landsat LC that is Landsat 8 image collection 1 tire 1 top of the atmosphere and this specific code refers to the date of 2017 December 28. So next we have to set a visualization parameter and display our thermal band. So to set a visualization parameter so for that define a variable called a variable called LST palette. So this refers to the color palette for our band uh, that is our Landsat 8 image. So in order to uh, give a color we define a variable called LST palette equals to. So this set of value indicates of uh, very low LST value and this set of value indicates of very high LST values. So next we have to add our layer into earth engine. So to lay add our layer, we have to define map.add layer image. So image here refers to our Landsat 8 image, a variable called Landsat 8 image. This is a variable refers to Landsat 8 image. And we are specifically using the Landsat band 10, that is thermal infrared band, the spatial resolution of around 100 meters. So we are using Landsat 8 image, specifically the band 10. With a minimum reflectance value of 280, and to a maximum reflectance value of 350 and color palette that is our palette refers to the color scheme so for that we define this variable lst palette refers to this variable so we already defined the color for our high high that is our low lst and high lst values and output the layer name as lst that is land surface temperature so next to in order to find the areas with the hot objects that is hot spots so area with a very high land surface temperature. So to find the areas with a very high land surface temperature, we are using a variable called hotspots equals to image. Image here refers to our Landsat 8 image. Selecting select dot select refers to uh, we are selecting band 10 of Landsat 8 image with a, a reflectance uh, reflectance value of that is a brightness uh, value for 310. And uh, next we are defining other set of variable 
that is variable hotspot one equals to image dot select we are specifically selecting the landsat uh, band 10 gt with the specific uh, the brightness temperature value of 315 and next is to mask our cold pixel in this region so in order to uh, display only the hotspot areas that is the values with 310 and 315 brightness temperature value we have to mask all other part of this region so in order to display only the hotspot areas so for that we define we already defined this variable hotspot equals to hotspot dot update mask so we are masking uh, all all the part of the areas except the regions with the high uh, high temperature brightness temperature value so the first hotspot refers to this variable and similarly we define hotspot one so this for this variable hotspot update mask hotspot so next uh, let us add our add and center our layer to add our uh, whole region with the height uh, land surface temperature we have to define a layer define map dot add layer hotspot refers to this variable with the color palette or we are giving a specific color for it, this variable we are giving specifically a color for this variable that is our hotspot so with the temperature of brightness temperature value of 310 so this color is a red color and output the layer in layer name as hotspot hotspots and uh, next we add another layer called map dot add layer hotspots one where the color palette refers to this value that is red color and output the layer name as hotspot one which indicates this specific brightness temperature value of 315 and in order to center our object that is in order to center our layer we have to define map dot center object uh, image refers to a landsat 8 image so now let me reset we already uh, done this let me reset this so now let me run this code click this uh, run script so layers are being loading here so now let me zoom into this layer So now let me uh, turn off this layers hotspot one and hotspots. So this is LST layer that is thermal uh, Landsat 8 image with a band 10. So this is a band 10 of Landsat 8 image. So in this uh, layer, you can clearly able to view that the light red indicates the areas with a very high temperature and the dark red indicates there is a, a deep red or the dark red indicates of uh, low temperature areas. So now let me uh, go to the satellite mode. So here the darker areas indicates of very low temperature and the lighter area light red color indicates of very high temperature. So next uh, let me show you the hotspot one layer. So this is hotspot one layer which indicates the value of so hotspot one indicates the value of 315 and similarly the hotspot uh, hotspot value indicates the value of 310 that is the brightness temperature value. So now let me turn on this layer called hotspot. That is the values that uh, states the value of 310 as a brightness value. So I've turned this uh, turned this layer. Let me turn off our uh, Landsat uh, 8 band 10. So now you can clearly able to view that these are these are the areas with the uh, brightness temperature value of 310. So it indicates the value of uh, value greater than or equals to 310 brightness temperature value. These are the region. With a high land surface temperature so next uh, let me turn on this layer the hotspot one uh, hotspot one refers to the brightness temperature value of 310 hotspot one indicates the brightness temperature value of 310 that is 315 sorry the hotspot one indicates the brightness temperature value of 315 so now let us view a brightness temperature value of 350 areas with a brightness temperature value of 315. Let me turn this, turn this, turn off this. So now we can clearly able to view here. The areas with the brightness temperature value of 315, it is clearly indicated in this color, the red color. So these are the areas with the brightness temperature value of, of 315. So 
which indicates a very high uh, land surface temperature. These are the areas which receives a very high land surface temperature. And similarly, this specific layer indicates that is, turn this off, hotspots indicates the brightness temperature value of 310. So now these are the areas with the brightness temperature value of, of 310. The lands which receives that uh, brightness temperature value are clearly indicated in red color. These are the areas which receives the land surface temp high land surface temperature areas. So in this video, I have shown you how to calculate uh, how to find an area with a high land surface temperature. Specifically, we are using uh, two sets of uh, brightness temperature values that is 310 and 350. So which is clearly indicated in our uh, map. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.